All right, we're on hole number 15 of the Voyager Tournament. We're in the opening rounds in the rookie division. And let's take a look at hole number 15. Using Golf Clash Notebook. This is a par three. We're gonna be hitting right here with our sniper and trying to curl, backspin it into the hole. Um, we are using a katana so that we can get some more. We don't necessarily need the power and a, and a kingmaker might be too much power for us on this. So we're going to use a katana and we're going to want to make sure we can bring our sniper. Those are the only two things we should need on this hole. Cycling through our chest trying to get club cards. Trying to get gold chest, gold level 3 chest so we can try and get big toppers. This account only plays in the rookies. It plays up to tour 7 so you know anytime the only way you're going to get better clubs is to open up more chests so that's how it works. I came to this game from another game where you know every, every one of these app games has some type of a farming aspect to it and in this game the farming aspect is farming chests. And so you see guys that have two, three thousand games and they're ticked because people have higher level clubs than them. But, you know, the, the real question is how often do you guys open up chess? I never play without an open slot. Four, five. Whew, that's a big adjustment there. I don't like having to move my ball out into the sand that far. Trying to hit perfect. Just a little on the inside. A little too much curl. I was doing right up against that ring. And that wasn't enough. And that was about a two ring. And that was a little too much. So. We're going to try 1.5 rings on our next one. And our opponent's using a marlin ball here. And you're going to have to use a ball with a little more power if you're going to hit that spot. At least a one power navigator. Navigator is going to help cut the wind down. Not going to give you as much curl. You might want to use a quasar. I like that spot in Ricky because it's a lot more consistent. This hole is very tricky with headwind. When you're playing in the upper divisions, um, especially if you're playing in Masters on this, the, the winds are brutal. And so you find yourself a lot of times in between clubs. You're not only farther back, you're in between clubs and it's it can be a very tricky, this is a very tricky hole. And Ricky, it's, it's not nearly as tricky as it is in the upper divisions. All right, we're going to be forfeiting our shootouts. All right. Let's see where we're at here. That was hole number 15 of the Voyager tournament. Thanks for watching.